segment. Did you know that March 1st today is a very important day in WTAJ history? The day also has a connection to a famous department store that was once the place to be in downtown Altoona years ago. Now a local author is revealing the connection as he announces a new book about Gables. We spoke with Robert Jashonik and a local history buff, Dave Seidel, to learn more here in the studio last week. Take a look. Well, we are here with Bob Jashonik, who is an author extraordinaire, and uh, I think an author of history would be appropriate. Yeah, and thanks. also Dave Seidel as well, who says he's an amateur historian, oh, but uh, he knows a lot about history in our area. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank you. That's why you're here, Dave, because we're talking about one of the most historic places, uh, Gables well, yes. Department Store, and it's because Bob is uh, writing a book about it. Welcome We've, to the show. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. It's great to be back. And we're having a birthday party. That's right. Today <laughs> is a, a big day. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Tell us why. What's going on? March 1st is the anniversary of the founding of Gables in 1884. Mm -hmm. Big Altoona department it's store. Huge, mm -hmm. huge landmark. Yeah. So many people shopped there for so many years, and it was just a, it was a great place to go. And that same day... Uh, of the year just happens to be the birthday of WTAJ TV. Wow. That's right. They share a birthday. Yes. And, and Dave, there's a history between that, uh, the two, right? Yes. Uh, uh, tell uh, us a little bit. Uh, WTAJ was originally WFBG TV, which stood for the initials of William F. Gable. And they Did it? started a I radio didn't know station. That. And it, progressed into a television station in wow. later years. So. so did Gables own WFBG then? At one time, but it was um, um, enlarged later on, uh, expanded when they ah. took over, uh, expanded into the Altoona Johnstown market and changed the call letters for that reason. I gotcha. Think. Well, we have a lot of stuff to show here, but I want to talk uh, about this book that's in the works. Yeah, Bob. thanks. Um, you said it's coming out later this year. Yep, it mm -hmm. should. it'll be out in November, no later than early November. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you have history in this as well, writing books about famous department stores. I yeah. kind of think of you as like the cozy nostalgia author <laughs> because you just, Thank what you. you write brings back such fond memories of mm -hmm. very important places in our area. You have two books I want to mention. I want to get the titles okay. right. So yeah. Long Live Glossers, yes. of course, from mm -hmm. Johnstown and Pen Traffic Forever. That's right. And this one's going to be called what? Long Live Gables. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it just seemed to fit because we wanted to bring Gables back in yeah. a way, to bring the memories back, bring the store back so that people could remember it and preserve it for future generations. So long live Gables. Mm -hmm. So many people have great memories of it. Here are yeah. some pictures that we're looking at here. Uh, really, I mean, you just think back to these department stores and just, you know, have a whole experience, don't you? You yes. remember what it was like to walk through the doors and smell the smells and see everything. And mm -hmm. there's just such history there. And, you know, we're seeing some of the pictures. There are like window displays and yes, all of that. Absolutely. Yeah, gorgeous stuff. Those window displays were outrageously good. They were done by a team of display artists mm. who uh, worked in Gables, and they include uh, Ann Dixon, who mm -hmm. I just spoke with uh, two days ago, interviewed her for the book, mm. and uh, Jim uh, Shannon, Jim. Mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. and several other people as well, and they went all out. As you can see, these yeah. displays are extraordinary. They are. You just and don't see that anymore. I know. It's, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. So I'm, I'm so glad that we had photography preserved mm -hmm. that we were able to, to pick up and use for the book. Yeah. That's one of the great things about this book is that so many people in the local area, including and especially Dave, mm -hmm. went to such great lengths to preserve materials. They preserved research materials, they preserved photos and memorabilia, mm -hmm. and they kept it all intact over all these years so yeah. that somebody like me could walk in and help put it together into a book, and it's fantastic. There's a real love of history in Blair County. Absolutely. Well, Dave, you brought a few items to show us here, oh, and yes. really these bring mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. memories. I swear I have that box mm -hmm. <laughs> in my house somewhere just for my family, different oh, things yes. well, in the bags. This is probably used for fine china or crystal or mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. with a lot of tissue paper, of course, yeah. you know. The uh, required shopping bag, of mm -hmm. course, and that sort of thing. Hey, that's in good condition for yeah. a shopping yeah. bag. It's that like is new, <laughs> actually. It <laughs> does. In fact, it's never been used. Oh, but, wow. Uh, this is a portrait from 1948 from the, the toy department. Oh, I'm my goodness. visiting Santa Claus, that type of oh, thing. Oh, wow. Look and, at that. Uh, I don't even know who the person is in there. But, you know, this is the sort of thing that ends up in yard sales whenever mm -hmm. somebody's cleaning out an estate and that sort of thing. And it's unfortunate because that's somebody's photograph. Mm. And some paper products and things here. This is an anniversary book from 1914. Oh my which goodness. Which is a 30th anniversary, which uh, is um, highlighted by a lot of excellent cursive writing penmanship, which I understand they don't teach much in the oh, schools anymore. Oh, I know. Anymore. Isn't that disappointing? But yeah. um, there's William F. Gable there. 
Wow. And the interesting thing about William F. Gable is that mm -hmm. he uh, was a collector of rare books and fine art. Really? And this is one of the catalogs of his estate, uh, uh, of the offerings that were uh, from that collection. Mm -hmm. This is only one catalog, and I understand that at the time there were at least eight volumes of this catalog. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. But he was noted for rare documents, um, personally autographed uh, rare items like that sort of first wow. editions you know that sort of thing well that and is fine art of that course. is fascinating of course uh, you can learn so much more about this when Bob's book comes out That's at right. the end of the year so we're just doing a preview today so happy birthday Gables and WTAJ and uh, keep us posted yeah on well we really wanted to um, talk today about uh, our event that's coming up in June we wanted mm. to encourage people to uh, to come and attend okay. we're gonna have a big photo opportunity down by the um, the old Gables building mm -hmm. on 12th Avenue right well, 11th Avenue or 12th Avenue. either okay. one <laughs> yeah. we're, we're asking everybody who worked at the store um, who's interested in coming to show up that day. It's June 4th, which is a Saturday at 10 a.m. Okay. And uh, we want everybody to gather in front of the building. We're going to take photos, mm -hmm. and it's going to be just a, a reunion of people who worked there and also people who loved the store because that's a big part of the story. That's so great. So we'll put the people in front, you know, who worked there and, and showcase them. We'll have everybody else there, too, and I, I can't wait. So I, I really wanted to tell your viewers about that. Okay. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Well, uh, visit our website uh, for more information on that at centralpatv.com and uh, come back closer, too, and we'll uh, update it. How Thank you that? so much. Thank we you both. It. Thank you, Dawn. So much. Mm -hmm. It was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. My pleasure, too. Oh, they were wonderful. And I just want to say that cake was delicious. It came to us courtesy of Nutmegs in Richland. So thank you very much to the bakers there and also Bob and Dave one more time. So